Hello boys and girls, these are our math practice pages for 7-7. -7. Make sure you have these in front of us. We're going to be doing a lot with math word problems and story problems today. Marta has six kittens. She gives them a big bowl of water to drink. But there is only room for four kittens to drink at the same time. How does Marta know the two kittens have to wait? How many kittens did she have all together? Listen to the first sentence. Marta has six kittens. So what we need to do is we need to draw a counter train of six cubes. Two, three, four, five, six. She, oh, and we have to write our six over here. She gives them a big bowl of water to drink, but there is only room for four kittens to drink at the same time. We're putting our minus sign and we're marking out four. Four of them get to drink. What we're doing is trying to find out how many have to wait. So four of them get to drink. Six minus four equals how many are left over? There are two that have to wait. So we know there's two that have to wait because we drew six counters to represent the six cats. We took away four of them because of the four that get to drink. And then we see how many have to wait. Make sure you have this written on your paper. Okay, I'm going to erase it now. That way we can go on to the next page. Ah, look here. We get to draw our counters and solve the problems ourselves without them giving us pictures. We get to draw the pictures. How exciting. Put your finger right up here where the number two is. That's where we're going to draw our first picture. Listen to the problem. Emily sees eight rabbits in a pet stall. Someone buys three of them. How many rabbits are left? Listen again and tell me the number word as to how many rabbits Emily had. Emily sees eight rabbits in a pet stall. What was the number word in that sentence? Eight. So we are going to draw how many counters? We are going to draw eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And what number are we writing at the beginning of our math number sentence? We are writing eight because that is the number that she started with. Listen to the next part. Someone buys three of them. If she sees eight rabbits and someone buys three of them, are they adding two, putting more rabbits out, or are they taking away from the eight rabbits? They're taking away from it, aren't they? So what math sign shows take away? The minus sign. And how many, someone buys three of them, how many are we taking away? We're taking away three. One, two, three. What number are we writing here? We are writing three because someone took away three of them. Eight minus three is, what math sign means is, the equal sign. And how, what's the deal foot? How many do we have left? One, two, three, four, five. That's what they're asking. How many rabbits are left? The answer is five. The deal foot is five. 
read this number sentence with me. Ready? 8 minus 3 equals 5. One more time. 8 minus 3 equals 5. Now we're going to go on to our next one. Put your finger up here on the number 3. The fish with the number 3. Listen to the problem. Emily sees seven birds in a cage. The pet store owner opens the cage door and three fly out. How many birds are left? So to begin with, we have to figure out how many birds there were to begin with. Listen to the number for the number word in this sentence. Emily sees seven birds in a cage. How many birds did she see? Seven. Draw seven counters. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. She saw seven birds in a cage. We drew seven counters. What number are we writing here? We're writing our seven. Now listen to the next sentence. The pet store owner opens the cage and three fly out. If three fly out of the cage, are we adding two, putting more birds into the cage, or are we taking birds away? We're taking birds away, so we're going to use our minus sign. And how many did it say flew out? Do you remember? Three fly out. Three of them. One, two, three. We've marked out three of them. So seven minus three is, that's where our equal sign comes in. Now it asks us how many birds are left. Well, how many? One, two, three, Four. Four birds are left. Four is the difference between seven and three. Put your finger right here on number four. It's the one in a little heart. Listen to the problem. Emily sees eight puppies in the stall. Six of them are sold. How many puppies are left? Listen to the first sentence and listen for the number word to see how many puppies we need to draw. Are you listening? Emily sees eight puppies in the stall. What was the number word in that sentence? Eight. How many dots are we going to draw? Eight. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight. And what number are we going to write at the beginning of our math sentence? We're going to write an eight. Because that's how many puppies she saw to begin with. Now listen to the next. Six of them are sold. What was the number word? How many of them were sold? Six of them. So how we're going to take away, we're going to use the minus sign because we're not adding more puppies in. They were sold. We're taking them away from the group. We're going to take away six. So we're going to mark out six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Eight minus six is, that's where the equal sign comes in. Now they're asking us how many puppies are left. How many puppies are up here? One, two. Two puppies are left. Let's read this math sentence. Ready? Eight minus six equals two. Put your finger right up here on the number five in the heart. And listen to this math, word problem, story problem. 
Emily sees five hamsters sleeping. One leaves to eat. How many hamsters are left? Listen to the beginning of it and listen for the number word so that you can tell me how many we start with. Emily sees five hamsters sleeping. What was the number word in that sentence? It was five. How many are we going to draw? We're going to draw five. One, two, three, four, five. That's how many she saw to begin with. And what number goes at the beginning of our math sentence? The number five, the number she saw to start with. One leaves to eat. If one leaves, are we adding or are we taking away? We're taking away, so we use the minus sign. And how many did it say left? One. We're going to take away one and write the number one. Five minus one is, what math sign means is, equal is the same as equal. Five minus one is, it's asking us how many hamsters are left. One, two, three, four. Four hamsters are left. Let's read this math sentence. Ready? Five minus one equals four. Read it one more time, nice and loud. Five minus one equals four. Good math today. Go ahead and make sure you have this written so that I can erase it and we can go on to the next page. Okay, this is the independent practice page. Now, normally we do these by ourselves, but I'm going to do, do some of these with us, okay? Let's look at number six. Put your finger right up here on the six. Listen to the problem. There are six birds in a bird bath. Four fly away. How many birds are left? How many were in the bird bath to begin with? Listen for the number in the first sentence. There are six birds in a bird bath. What was the number word in that sentence? Six. Draw six dots. One, two, three, four, five, six. And make your dots kind of big, like lines or circles like I do. That way you can see which ones you mark out. What number do we write at the beginning of our number sentence? We write six because that's how many we started with. Okay, there are six birds in a bird bath. We have that. Four fly away. If four birds fly away, are we taking away or are we adding to? We're taking away because they fly away. What math sign do we use for take away? We use the minus sign. Six minus, how many did it say flew away? Four. We're going to mark out four. One, two, three, actually I'm going to use a deal for color so you can see it. One, two, three, four. Four of them all flew away. We're going to write four here. Six minus four is, what math sign do we use in place of is? The equal sign. Six minus four equals, or is the same as, it's asking us how many birds are left. Well, how many are left up here? We have two. The difference between six and four is two. Let's look here at number seven. 
listen to the problem to begin with. There are five acorns under a tree. A squirrel takes three of them. How many acorns are left? Listen for the number word in the first sentence so that you can know how many to draw. Are you listening? There are five acorns under a tree. What was the number word in that sentence? Five. Draw five acorns. One, two, three, four, five. What number are we going to write at the beginning of our math sentence? We're going to write five because five is the number of acorns we started with. A squirrel takes three of them. If a squirrel takes three acorns, is he adding them to what's under the tree or is he taking them away from the tree? He's taking them away. What math sign do we use for takeaway? The minus sign. And how many did the squirrel take? Do you remember? He took three. So we are going to mark out three. One two, three. Five minus three is. What math sign do we use for is? The equal sign. Now the problem asks us how many acorns are left? How many are left up here once the squirrel took three away? There are two acorns left. Let's read this math sentence together. Ready? Five minus three equals two. One more time, nice and loud. Five minus three equals two. Okay, for number eight down here, they're trying to trick us. They have given us two different pictures. This is one picture and this is another picture. I have a math story to read to you and you have to tell me which picture goes along with the story. Here we go. Listen closely. There are four ducks in a pond. One leaves. How many ducks are left? How many ducks were there to begin with on the pond? There are four ducks in a pond. There were four ducks to begin with. One leaves. Are we taking away when it leaves or are we adding to? We're taking away, so we're going to use the minus sign. Four minus one, because one left, equals which one of these pictures, this one or this one, shows 4 minus 1? 4 take away 1. It's this one, isn't it? Because it has 4 ducks and 1 is crossed out. How many ducks are left? There are 3 left. Now, why does this not show us that? In that picture, they took four ducks and they added another one in, didn't they? But if a duck leaves, we're not adding it in. We're taking it away because it's leaving the rest of them. Thank you for doing this paper with me today, boys and girls. Have a great day.